Steve Abbott has been a lay vicar at Salisbury Cathedral since the mid-80s. Steve thinks he might hold an unofficial record. I've done 40 Southern Cathedral festivals. Did four as a boy and will have done 36 as a lay vicar. So it was clear Steve was the only man for the job when it came to organising a reunion of Salisbury choristers to reminisce about festivals past. There is no expense spared. This is tea for six prima donnas. Joining Steve on the lawn of their former school are five of the ex-Salisbury choristers seen here. You sing for your supper later. Tim Layton says the festival was always a busy time. The four days of the Southern Cathedral's festival arrived and we'd either go off to Winchester, Chichester or stay here and host, but the activity was absolutely frenetic. Of course, all the choristers would be found bed somewhere in, yep. in these buildings. And wasn't it remarkable how the food suddenly got better? Yes. Suddenly you'd yes. get something to put on your bread. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> when I was a boy, the Southern Cathedral festival was a very exciting time. We would behave probably pretty badly. Simon Ratcliffe says that three boys' choirs under one roof could get quite rowdy. We'd wreck their dormitories, we'd tie up their, mat, their, their bed sheets so they got into their beds and it was knots at the end. Simon and his friend Robin MacDonald had a reputation for being the naughtiest of the naughty boys. I always seemed to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. One incident involving a coach journey has passed into Salisbury Chorister folklore. On the right-hand side of the coach, there was a, a window which said, press in an emergency. And I thought, well, well, let's just press this. So we pressed it and it fell out. Uh, and then all hell broke loose. An alarm went off and the coach ground to a halt. One of the masters stood up and immediately said, MacDonald and Ratcliffe, stand up, where are you? He knew, I think by instinct, that it must be us. And yes, it was us, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> The old boys didn't have to be asked twice to perform an a cappella number on the school lawn. Andy Townsend says that singing in the festival wasn't all play and no work, though. The singing side of things, it was very busy and you were treated as young professionals and, um, you know, we had to work hard. Steve Ratcliffe was in a reflective mood. I always look back on this period here as one of the, the happiest I, I, uh, I ever experienced, to be honest. There was only one thing left to do before they departed. Steve Abbott has brought along a picture taken outside the cathedral in 1969. He's found the exact spot the picture was taken 52 years ago. Ratcliffe Senior, just to the left of Tim. Mr. McDonald is going to be just behind me. And just like that, the naughty boys of Salisbury rode off to wreak havoc somewhere else. I'm going to scratch this car. <laughs> <laughs>